What's good, y'all? I'm here to talk about the buffs and changes for Diggersby, the GOAT. Uh, Diggersby super sick, super funny Pokemon. Uh, in this ROM hack, every Pokemon is balanced and uh, specifically designed to have two viable abilities that you will be switching between with the infinite use ability capsule. So um, in this case, there was not many other abilities that are as useful as huge power, even situationally, other than fur coats. So I gave it fur coat. Uh, it's also a very, very fitting ability, obviously. If you read the Pokedex and stuff, it talks about the fur a lot and also just like look at him He's, he literally has a fur coat with his little pocket hands in his pockets and stuff so very fitting ability uh, a bit situational but there will be a lot of situations especially versus totems or just as a pivot or just any tanky pokemon you know utility it has stuff like parting shot and yawn and all this other super thing you know fur coat is definitely very useful especially for those totem battles um and you can easily just slap that on with an infinite use ability capsule uh and run for a coat for certain fights but in general huge power is still the star of the show here um 69 base attack with huge power might seem absolutely ridiculous especially with the fact that it can hold an item uh but honestly this is nothing crazy in the grand scheme of this hack's power levels 69 base attack with huge power is equivalent to uh i believe i have memorized it's a uh, 180 one let me check my math 182 roughly 182 base attack which is obviously insane but half of the hustle pokemon are stronger than that a lot of sheer force pokemon are stronger than that tough claws pokemon are stronger than that it's nothing too crazy power is not everything um it has a good speed stat but it's not incredible um in game you have you do have priority uh and also you can run choice scarf which is really good in game because you can just slap it on when you need to outspeed the opponent otherwise you can just run bulky sets um i try to base hp more on size in this hack but uh there was nowhere else for me to put the stat points in diggersby because uh he does have that like the, the minimum stat total for every pokemon besides um, Shedinja and Unknown, who have Wonder Guard, is 480. For every fully evolved Pokemon, at least, is 480. Um, there's, of course, some viable 450-ish Violite Pokemon, but in general, fully evolved Pokemon is 480, uh, and therefore, there could be had to be 480, and I didn't want to give a useful special attack boost, it just looked ugly to me, so... Fuck it. Let him have big HP. He's this big, stupid, fat rabbit anyways. Um, although, typically, 100 plus HP is reserved for, like, bigger, big Pokemon, but it's fine. Um... Yeah, 87 defense, 109 HP with fur coat is it is behemoth. It's it's so bulky. Um, very useful for utility. Very useful. It has slack off as well. I didn't mention that yet. So utility sets definitely worthwhile with fur coat. Do not sleep on fur coat. Obviously, it's not as fun, but it's very useful in game for hardcore nuzlocks, which is what this hack is kind of balanced around. Uh, you know, you can't underestimate that utility. Um, but yeah, huge power, very very strong. What like I said, 180 base attack. He does have priority in the form of quick attack, sucker punch, and burst impression. He also has buffed quick claw. He can have a choice scarf on he's got agility he's got tons of ways to deal with his speed not to mention you can just run a bulky set um assault vest would be pretty great you know you can do all kinds of stuff in game super effective berries um really whatever the hell you want uh parting shot and u-turn are great for uh, for that utility to switch into another pokemon he's got incredible coverage powerful powerful stab moves uh headlong rush is extremely powerful now all these moves by the way if you are new to this channel and you're just clicking on this video because you saw it bigger as being a thumbnail definitely make sure you check out that description below or if you are a regular viewer and you have yet to do so check out that description below i'm so serious there is a link to the same google sheet that i use in all my videos and you can check out all 600 plus move reworks because they are immense uh, you've got to give those a look but honestly if you listen to this far into the video hopefully you know that by now already but yeah, incredible coverage, very, very powerful new coverage moves. All these moves, are, like I said, our buffs are changed, but you have stab moves like Strength, which is normal technicals combat, Hyper Fang, which is the same base power. Um, I've given that to only Rodent Pokemon. Hyper Fang is 80 base power, 100% accurate. I actually can't miss, which is great for Eradicate because it has Hustle and Strong Draw, but um, Diggersby also appreciates it. It's just a zero drawback, 100% crit rate move. It's the same power as Strength. Of course, Strength, the TM is slightly earlier, and it's also reteachable, so Strength is not useless or anything, but Strength is nice with normal technicals combat, like I said. Get impact when it's 60 base power drops your attack stat by two um superpowers also does the same thing and you've got megaton kick which is even stronger than earthquake but it's 90 percent accurate had long rush which is recoil and drops your defensive stats it's, it's it's you know it's got all types of great stuff how long rush is honestly overkilling game i wouldn't run it personally unless i really needed the power to kill something specific for a specific boss fight but in general you're probably just gonna run a run want to want to run eq and earlier on you do have seismic fist which is 90 base power um, which is great uh for earlier in the game yeah, great coverage, like I said. Um, there's not too much to talk about. It's just very simple buffs and changes. Like I said, he has good utility. He's got other good setup moves. He can, you know, boost his defenses. He's got Cotton Guard because of that fur. He's got Amnesia with Fur Code. He can become a super crazy tank. Uh, he's not frail or anything without without Fur Code active. Uh, 
109, 87, 87 is great. Normal ground, dual stab, we already know how good that combination is. He does have coverage to hit the things that would not be hit by normal ground as well. So in general, Diggersby's just the GOAT. He's big chillin'. Um, I don't really know what else to say here. Uh, it's pretty simple, straightforward stuff, like flail reversal is pretty cool with Endure, plus a pinch berry with his speed stat, you could use like Salak berry with flail reversal with huge power, uh, yawn plus wake up slap, wake up slap is reworked to be priority and always flinch, but it's 1 PP, so that's pretty cool in conjunction with yawn, um, and I already said a couple times now how good the fur coat sets are with the utility move set. so yeah, acid reflux even for like totem, like totem mimic, I don't know, whatever you want to do, right, totem mimic, fur coat with acid reflux and all this other stuff would be pretty great, parting shot, you know, you can really take advantage of those uh the utility moves on the bulky sets so yeah slack off really nice as well to keep it healthy throughout the match although you know it's not a stable um level recovery is nice because there's no healing items in this game but in general it's not super necessary on a pokemon like diggersby it's nice to have though um yeah i'll leave the video off there honestly you can figure out what the rest of the moves do down in the description below uh i appreciate you listening thank you so much please let me know in the description down below if you did listen this far into the video i i say this at the end of all my videos and nobody ever says it so if you do listen this far in let me know you know just give me a little little message down below that you did listen this far in peace everybody and i really do appreciate all the support hype to get the more callous pokemon coming up